suddenly I saw a light light up in the front yard. It was a bright, beautiful white light shining on the grass like moonlight, but 10 times brighter. I got up and looked out the window and this light with rays coming out of it and the rays penetrated my body, some of them, and I could like taste his presence in the rays. It was the most extraordinarily beautiful experience I've ever had. The next morning, we left the cabin, and the experiences have never been like that since. People who don't have open minds and are dismissive of all of this miss out on one of the most wonderful, frightening, dangerous, beautiful things that you can know. I did not ask for this. I did not know about it. I did not expect it. I did not want it, that's for sure. But it burst into my life without warning. And it's never left me since. Take from this what you will. This does happen to me. It has been happening to me all my life. And you don't have to believe because I know the truth. My earliest memories of being abducted by aliens were when I was very young, five, six years old. I was living in, in Ohio, and it was kind of in the middle of nowhere. Our nearest neighbor was a mile or two away. There was you know, nothing for miles. I would be in my bed, usually. I would hear voices coming down the hallway. The voices were of my parents, so I got comfortable thinking it was my parents. I remember seeing a bright blue light come under the door and shadows, actually, of something standing outside the door. And I realized that it was not my parents coming in. When they got close, I'd see those black almond-shaped eyes just staring right at me. Emotionless eyes just looking at me. And they would extend their hand and I would grab it as if I was really comfortable with them and had done this many times before. And uh, they often would let me take my favorite stuffed animal with me. As a child, I didn't realize that these beings didn't visit everybody at night. I thought when people went to bed, the bald men would come for everybody. And it was just a normal thing. I decided I would, you know, draw them and write down things that I could remember. I was always into art, so I really started to try to draw them as best as I could. They're my friends. They come visit me at night. It didn't start to get uncomfortable until I started talking about the bald men to other people, whether it be classmates or family members, and they just said that it's not real, there's no such thing, you're just dreaming. It was very frustrating being told that this wasn't happening when I knew it was. Okay, Audrey, I need you to relax. As an adult, I would remember bits and pieces. I remember them coming in. I remember them doing something to me so I couldn't move. I remember them bringing me somewhere else and being other places. But the things I didn't remember were, you know, what were they doing to me when they took me? And I said, okay, I need to find people that could maybe help me. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Regression was a great tool to bring back the missing pieces, the memories. We're gonna focus on a room. 
didn't even think about it, didn't get educated on it, said, okay, I'm gonna get hypnotized, let's do it. I just wanna get to the bottom of this. It's a basement. You're gonna walk down the stairs. And in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, this isn't gonna work. You know, those memories are gone. I'm never gonna remember what's happening. I didn't know anything about it. I had no idea what I was in for. Three, two, one. Audrey, tell me what you see. Tell me what you see. What you see. My first hypnosis session was the most traumatic experience that I think I've ever had in my life. I wasn't ready, I think, to, to see what they were doing. I wasn't ready to accept it. The bald men were just terrifying to look at. The people that wanted to help me, you know, they did this wonderful hypnosis session. They got all this, you know, detailed accounts of what's going on, and this was great stuff. But I never came back for a long time. I just left. I didn't want to think about it. They gave me a copy of the tape. I never listened to it to this day. Um, I try to forget. And I just ran from it for a long time. I started to live in denial that it was even happening until they came for me. I was just getting ready to go to bed. My window was open, and all of a sudden, I started.